Today we are all going through struggles. All of us. Different levels of struggles. Remember my brothers and sisters, you are not alone. We are in it together. We all have challenges, myself included. Learn to help one another. Learn to say a good word to one another. Learn to be focused. Work hard. A day will come when you will smile. Even if it is two years, four years. Another example, people going through divorce. Divorce is becoming like a trend. Like a trend. You're married, you've got to ask the guy, are you still married after two years? You say, if he says, yes, yes, you say, mashallah. Because you know, now it's like sort of uh, not the norm anymore. The norm is like, you married? Awaz. You say, subhanallah, may Allah grant us ease. It's not bad to actually be divorced for the right reasons or to divorce for the right reasons. But when it becomes a trend, it, it is scary. We are not prepared to sacrifice for one another anymore. We are not prepared to forgive one another anymore. We want a perfect human being who is spotless without any weaknesses. That's what we are looking for. Well, that you will only find in paradise if you ever get there. May Allah grant us Jannah. No, people say, I'm going to get the perfect spouse in Jannah. I say, are you even going to get to Jannah? That's a question. How can you say that? You're supposed to give us hope. I said, that's a statement of hope. Because when you start thinking, gosh, am I really going to get there? It will get you up for Fajr. But if you didn't think of it, that am I really going to get there? Wallahi, yesterday I had a question from someone, a silly question, very silly question. Someone asks me, will we be allowed to steal in Jannah? I mean, how far can your mind go? To be honest with you, how far can your mind go? Will you be allowed to kill in Jannah and steal in Jannah? Because if you can do anything there, like Allah says, you will be able to do anything. So I said, the pure mind will never ever think in those lines or on those lines in that direction. Never. My brothers and sisters, when divorce happens, it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Perhaps it is a door for you to then get to someone else. Had you not been through your first relationship, you would never have gotten to this much, much better person that you subsequently got married to. See, I see a lot of people nodding here. Mashallah, what's going on here, guys? May Allah grant us ease. Allah open our doors. But the moral is never give up. We go through challenges. We go through hardship. Let's look forward. Let's progress. People sit and say, I'm going to fix this ex of mine. You know what? Just move on. By making someone else's life difficult, it's not going to make your life easy. Not at all. You want ease? Close a chapter, open a new one. Let's move forward. Thank Allah. Beautiful relationship and that's more. May Allah grant us goodness. So this is it. My brothers and sisters, the Prophet ﷺ met with Khalid ibn al-Walid radiallahu an when he came to Medina and he wanted to declare his shahada. You know who Khalid ibn al-Walid radiallahu anhumah was? He had caused a lot of damage against the Muslims, especially in Uhud. He was well known. And so he says, O Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I've got a problem. The issue is, you know what I've done against Islam and the Muslims. I'm about to accept Islam. What's going to happen? He wants to know. As Allah teaches, the Prophet Sallallahu told him, Ya Khalid, Inna al-Islam ya jubbu ma qabla. O Khalid, Islam will delete whatever happened, the bad that you did in the past. The same way Tawbah deletes the past. Also, if you were to revert or convert to Islam, your past bad is deleted. The good carries with. You know, they say when you go for Hajj, you return as pure as the day you were born. Do you know in reality, it is even purer than that? Why? Because that purity is referring to sinlessness. That's what it's referring to. It's not referring to zero on your slate. When the Prophet Sallallahu said, as pure as the day you were born, he means no sins next to your name. He doesn't mean nothing next to your name. Evidence of it is, what about all the good I did before I went for Hajj? It remains. You get the point? So the good remains, the bad is formatted, gone. This is something amazing. Whenever we talk of Hajj and Tawbah, we must remember, Yes, it deletes, but it doesn't make you, you know, they say, I'm starting on a clean page. You're starting on a page that already has so much of goodness on it because not only is it clean, but it's clean from sin. It's full of the goodness you did. Allah says, if you changed your life, then we're going to bring back the bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Allah says in the Quran, if you change your life, illa man taba wa amana wa amila amalan salihan. Three conditions. You make tawbah. Tawbah means to return to Allah. What's the difference between istighfar and tawbah? Istighfar is to ask Allah's forgiveness. Tawbah is to return to Allah by changing your ways. That's the difference. Tawbah is more loved by Allah because it is broader than istighfar. Istighfar, I said, oh Allah, forgive me. Tawbah is now my life changed. That's the difference. So Allah says, those who made that tawbah, they returned to me. And they believe, they worked on their connection with Allah, their belief, their iman. And thirdly, they did good deeds. Allah says, we're going to bring back those bad deeds. And we're going to convert them into good deeds on the scale, simply because this person could have done the bad, but they didn't because of their love of me and their connection with me. So Allah says, because of that, I mean, look, a person who is on intoxicants, may Allah protect us and our offspring. A person on intoxicants who says, oh Allah, forgive me. And then the intoxicants are still available. But he says, I'm not doing this anymore. Allah says, we're going to bring all of that back and convert it. You know why? You only quit it for us. Nothing else. You could have done it. You can still do it. But because you love us and you know we said it's wrong and you did not do it. We love that action so much. We're going to show you. Subhanallah. That is Allah. So this is the type of relationship we must develop with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he will assist. Days come in our lives when my beloved brothers and sisters, we are so low that we feel where is Allah? Do you know that the messengers before us and the pious people before us, they used to ask Allah, Oh Allah, when is your help going to come? They were shaken, they were tested left, right and center until the messenger and the people around him, with him, they said, when is the help of Allah going to come? Allah says, be patient. Allah, inna nasrallahi qari. Be patient. Allah's help is near. Allah's help is near. I remember sitting with one scholar and he said, every dua is heard by Allah. Every single dua is heard by Allah. It's a matter of time for that dua to come and plug in. Some people it's a few days, some people it's months, some people it's years. Don't ever think that Allah did not accept your dua. Never. All of us, if you sit and think about some duas you've made in your life that happened five years later, it happened 10 years later, but you don't realize it came. It definitely came when the time was right. That's Allah's plan. Trust Allah. We were talking about Jannah. Sometimes we tend to forget that we need to work towards Jannah rather than arguing about what we're going to be getting in Jannah. Like I say, look at the path. You can see it's there. You know it's there. And you know the destination is also punched in. You just follow the path. Don't worry about now when I get there, this, when I get there, that. The other day I took my children somewhere and I punched it on the GPS. And we are following the GPS. It says turn left. It says turn right. It says continue. We did exactly that. Knowing in our hearts that, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to get there. And when we get there, we'll see what there is. There might be restrictions. There might not. They might not even let us in. It might be closed, even though it says it's open because, you know, times have changed. Right? Wallahi, our conviction in the GPS of Allah should be far stronger than that. Far stronger. Don't worry what you're going to get. I would never bother about what exactly I'm going to get in Jannah. What I'm bothered about is for me to get there. That's all. And that should be the case with all of us. My beloved brothers and sisters, in Islam, the concept of moving forward and not dwelling on the past is deeply rooted in the teachings of Quran and Hadith. The Quran encourages believers to focus on their present and future actions as seen in Surah Al-Baqarah, which states Allah does not burden a soul beyond that it can bear. This verse emphasizes that while challenges and making mistakes are a part of life, one should not be overwhelmed by them. Instead, Muslims are encouraged to learn from their experiences and continue striving for righteousness and growth in their faith. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also emphasized the importance of looking ahead and being proactive in life. He taught that every day offers a new opportunity for improvement and repentance. 
in a well-known hadith prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the best of people are those who are best in their deeds this highlights the value of continuous self-improvement and the importance of not letting past mistakes define one's future islam teaches that what truly matters is the intention and effort one's put into becoming a better person moreover islam encourages believers to have a positive outlook on life and to trust in allah's plan dwelling on the past can lead to regret and despair which can be detrimental to one's spiritual and mental well-being instead muslims are taught to place their trust in allah seek his forgiveness and move forward with the confidence that he is always guiding them this mindset not only brings peace but also empowers individuals to take meaningful steps toward personal and spiritual growth help us build an islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description